Hey there everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. Today I have a couple Dollar Tree farmhouse DIYs that could be used for spring or all year round. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. All right, let's get started on the DIYs today. This first DIY is the $1 DIY tobacco basket made from poster board from Dollar Tree. Just one thing of poster board, and I am not the original creator of this tobacco basket. I did see a couple YouTube videos when I thought of this idea. I searched it, and there are a few out there, so I will leave them linked down below in the description box. Now what I did was I went over the back and the front of my poster board with white chalk paint, uh, just one coat. I liked the lines that the brush strokes gave me um, and the texture that the chalk paint gave me to make this look more wood like. And then I'm taking my ruler and I'm marking one inch lines all the way across my board and then I'm connecting those one inch lines um, to make straight lines all the way across the board to give me 22 lines. Then I just took a uh, box cutter from Dollar Tree and cut all of the lines out. You could use scissors. I don't know why I used a box cutter. I just decided that it would give me straighter lines, but honestly, I think scissors would have worked perfectly fine. So like I said, I cut all of these strips out and it gave me 22 strips in total. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is put the basket together. So I'm gonna take one strip and lay it vertical and one strip and lay it over top of the vertical piece horizontal. Then I just took a, another strip, a third strip, and laid that vertical over top of that horizontal piece, and then came back with a, another uh, strip and laid that horizontal underneath that first vertical strip and over top of that second vertical strip. And this started giving me the basket weave pattern. I made sure as I was making my basket weave that around the two sides of the basket I left an inch of poster board sticking out and that's what's going to attach to the other strips to hold my whole basket together. And you'll see that in just a minute. Um, I didn't measure, I just eyeballed all of the strips and kind of just kept it rustic. I used 18 strips for the basket in total. Then I went around the other two edges after I did the basket weave and trimmed off the excess poster board. Now what I need to do is connect my edge pieces to some outer pieces to make my basket. So I have four pieces of poster board left. I actually only needed three pieces for this. And I just took one piece and I laid it around the bottom of the basket weave. And then I just took the bottom where that one inch excess cardboard was um, coming out and I just stapled that to that bottom piece all the way around. And then I just continued to do that with each piece. Now if I did mess up, I did go ahead and remove the staples and restaple it. Um, this is not a sturdy basket, so this isn't something that you're gonna be able to stand up. It's something that you can lay on a table or you can hang on a wall. I hung mine on a wall um, and I think it looks pretty, but it can get kind of wonky in some places and out of sorts if you aren't paying attention. So, um, but I kind of like the rustic feel of it and the not perfect feel of it. I feel like if you want something perfect, then you're gonna go to a store and buy something that's already manufactured for you. But I'm creating this for only a dollar, so I think it is perfect and it definitely gives me that tobacco basket feel that I am looking for uh, to go in my home. Make sure when you're doing the outer pieces that you staple those pieces together to each other and not just to the basket so that way everything stays together. Now you can paint your basket any color you would like. I chose to paint mine white because I didn't have any brown paint, but you could use brown paint to make yours more of a natural color. You could use gray paint, whatever you would like to match your decor. The two videos I linked down below, um, they painted theirs, I think, with brown paint to make theirs look more natural. 
so it's really just up to you I came back with some stain and very lightly dry brushed it on my basket to give this more of a weathered look for my style so I wanted a wreath for my basket and I had a bunch of these leaves left over from some greenery picks from Dollar Tree but I also didn't have a wreath form so I took this wire jute that came from Dollar Tree that I had and I just formed it into a circle and wrapped the jute around itself to kind of tie it all together so that way it would create a little wreath form for me. And then I just went and took the leaves and hot glued those to the wire jute all the way around, kind of layering it and just working with what I had. So just goes to show you, just because you don't have the conventional things in your craft room, it doesn't mean you can't come up with something creative because I actually really love how this wreath turned out and I could use it on all sorts of different decorations for the seasons. Okay, so for this wreath, my intentions were to hang it from the basket, but unfortunately, um, I took some burlap ribbon and wrapped it around the wreath and then tried to hang it from the basket, which you can see here in this clip. And at first I thought it would be okay, but it actually weighed down the basket and made everything just hang kind of funny. So I ended up, and you'll see in the B-roll footage, um, what I ended up doing, which was just taking the ribbon off and hot gluing the entire wreath just in the center of the basket. And I think it looks a lot better this way anyways. Then to hang the basket, I just took four little white finishing nails and nailed the basket right to the wall in four different places at the top of the basket. Help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. And we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving. For this last DIY, I'm going to be making a farmhouse chalkboard crate, or you could use it as a riser. It's up to you. I'm going to be using two 6x8 canvases from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to be removing the staples and the canvas from both of those, so that way I'm just left with the wooden frames. Now, I've gotten a few questions about removing the staples from these canvases um, from my last videos. Uh, this is a little pry bar that I'm using to remove the staples. I don't know why, I just found that um, it kind of gets underneath the staples and helps remove them, but you do have to put a little work and effort. I did link the pry bar down below in the description box. It's from Home Depot, it comes in a little set. So if you're interested, I don't get any money from it. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. But since I had questions, I just thought I'd go ahead and link it. Now, um, this second canvas did give me some trouble. Normally, I have not had any troubles getting these staples out. But for some reason, on this second canvas, the corners were glued down. The staples were glued to the corners. So I ended up not ripping those staples out and all the other ones out. Now I'm going to use the chalkboard signs from Dollar Tree and they are the perfect size for these 6x8 canvases from Dollar Tree. So I just placed some hot glue on the back of each frame and then flipped the chalkboard signs over and hot glued them down to the frames so that way I had two chalkboards in frames. Now next I'm going to use these um, jumbo, I think they're called paint sticks from Home Depot because that's where I got them from um, but they look like popsicle sticks and they're only like a dollar a pack for all of them and what I'm gonna do is just trim off the rounded corners on each side of them and then I'm gonna start hot gluing them to one side of the frame which is the short side so the six inch side of the frame um, and then glue the other side of the popsicle stick to the other side of the frame to create my crate and I did that with five of the popsicle sticks to go along this side of the crate and then I just took two more popsicle sticks and cut those down 
uh, and place those on the inside of the wooden sticks to make it look more like a crate. And then I just did the same exact thing to the other side of the frames with five more popsicle sticks and then two popsicle sticks on the inside of those. For the bottom of my crate or the top of my riser, depending on how you want to use it, I just used popsicle sticks again, just laid them out from one side of the chalkboard to the other chalkboard, and then cut the rounded bottoms and tops off of the popsicle sticks and hot glued those down to the frame. And that was it for this. I think it turned out really cute. For my first look, I used it as a crate with some spring flowers. I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay? The second look, I used it as a riser for spring decor. Forever, forever, forever. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more behind the scenes and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.